Hello and welcome to this new series. This new series will explore feature by feature comparison between Tableau and Power BI. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for the new videos. So in this video, we are going to discuss table visual uh, both in Power BI and Tableau and in Tableau, the table visual and the matrix visual what we have in Power BI uh, is not having a separate visual is the same visual which is going to behave like a table or a matrix. So what we are going to do is we are going to keep things very simple out here and trying to discuss uh, things which is very similar to Power BI table. So what I'm going to do, I've created a new page out here. There is a plus button which can allow me to add a new page and I've added a new page. I'll rename it as by table by double clicking and I am I can either create a table visual like by clicking on this or I can drag category simply it will create a table visual but I'll click on the table visual let me make it big bigger move it down and I can actually put category out here and other than category I'm going to put some majors so let me so I want to put draw sales I can drag it here I can put net sales out here and I can also put quantity out here now so this is there and now if I want to sort I can simply actually click here and to change the sort as ascending and descending other than there on the three dots I have an option like you know where I want it to sort on us the column as well as ascending and descending order so I can change that and this is reflecting I can also sort on category now so this is basic table visual now on the properties of the table visual uh, so you have like uh, certain styles which you can actually change minimal and all those border header border so I'll change it to default in the column headers you can play around with the font color and background color and all those you can do and uh, then in the values again you can actually play around with that now there is a field formatting where you can also play around with this one but I, I'll go to conditional formatting now in the conditional formatting you can actually go, go and have background color font color icon color and web URL if you want to clickable URL you have a one field which is URL field you can actually add it here and then you will be able to drill from there so basically three background color font color and icon color so i'm going to choose uh, let's say gross sales and if i choose background color so immediately i do i'll i'll sh click on the advanced uh, control and show you the by default it choose color scale so you have a color scale you have rule base and the field base so it has chosen the color scale and because the gross sales itself was a major it was able to choose that otherwise you can choose a major of your choice so let's say i don't want to do on this i want to do on let's say discount percentage so I'll go ahead and choose discount percentage and I can do now the conditional formatting. So this is not a similarly, I'll choose another column. Let's say net sales and I do the font uh, color. So font color again, by default, it would have said with the net sales and then I can go ahead and choose it as discount percentage. So I have done this on discount percentage also. Now, similarly, if I need data bars, uh, so data bars, data bar option is only available uh, when you have the numeric column so you might not have seen when it was category so I have data bar out also out here so I can have data bar now I can have icons also so what I'm going to do is uh, let me choose a category column where I'm going to dis uh, display icon now category doesn't have any major of its own so what I'm going to do is I don't want count of category let me say discount percentage is the column based on which I would like to have and I can change these like you know 0 to 30 percent or absolute numbers and all those I can do around the change but right now I'm keeping it as is but you can actually go ahead and play around with this so I got all these uh, you know icons so I was able to do icon formatting I'm able to do bar formatting and all those stuff I can be able to do out here in the table visual uh, to enhance my experience of the table visual and all these major um, uh, columns which I've added basically you need to have an aggregation defined with it so default aggregation is some so they will behave like majors uh, once you have the aggregation defined calculated columns with the aggregation so we are able to add those and uh, able to do conditional formatting now we will jump on to tableau and try to replicate the similar kind of things so in tableau we will go again uh, in the tableau there is an icon to create a new worksheet so i'm going to create a new worksheet and there uh, see this options are not enabled here by default but you can you by default get a sheet where you can drag and drop uh, stuff and do it so i'm going to drag category out here so let me drag category and i dragged the category it created a table for category very similar what we have done power bi and i'm going to drag out here also gross sales and 
in tableau where you drop i going to create a different kind of visual so i'm going to make sure that i'm dropping it when the box is available and then here i'm going to do now if i do need to do conditional formatting let's say i want to do on discount percent i can simply drag it on color now the moment i drag it on color it is actually done the color formatting uh te the text uh, has been colored and all or three of them has been colored in the same manner in tableau you have a different way to you know make it color on different different columns that we will take up at uh, some other time now here if i go here if i click and uh, there is option for size details and tooltip so basically if i make it on tooltip it will only be available in tooltip so i can go drag one more major let's say discount amount and put it on tooltip so i will actually have that on tooltip now and then for sorting also we have this you go on that particular column you actually get an option to sort so you can go around and sort on whatever column you want okay and similarly i can see show and hide card option so you can actually go ahead and play around with this now here uh, i have this conditional formatting now uh, with this i have option like bar so you can see some bars out here now this discount percentage is pretty small so maybe uh, let's see if i do cross here so now the conditional formatting in cross and let me change it to line let me change it to circles okay so different kind of options are coming and then you have the edit colors and all those options are there you have a size option which you can actually increase okay and again i'll go ahead and drag discount percentage out here okay so i can change it on based on discount percentage now i have this uh, my text column this is my tool tip now i can go ahead and make a pie out here and now once you make a pie it is a different now this kind of display is only possible here in tableau or we do not have exact alternate there in power bi where you are seeing these numbers like these uh, inside the pie uh, so this is if you can have a kind of altogether different visual which is available here then i can see there are more options available out here once we do that so similar kind of things available at both the places you have uh, the table which will you can create you can have certain majors you can go ahead and do some conditional formatting you can sort around there uh, based on the tool there are different features uh, available uh, very specific to both the tools so go ahead and play around with this do let us know what else you want to see in this particular series if you have not subscribed to the channel subscribe so that you can get notification for the new video thanks for watching this video thank you get involved keep asking questions in comments subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of our new video keep watching